A lion grabbed her baby on live TV. What the handler told mom to do sounds insane. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Imagine the fear of having your child ripped from your arms by a wild animal and being completely powerless to stop it. For one mother, her worst nightmare became a reality when a lion decided to get feisty on TV. You won't believe what happens. Sometimes animals don't want to cooperate when it comes to television. And in this instance, things took a downward turn really fast. Thankfully, the experienced trainer took over the situation and turned things around. However, it could have been much worse. The incident occurred on a popular morning show in Mexico called Conseo de Mujer. During this segment, a young lion and his trainer were on set being interviewed while a young mother and her child sat nearby. The show started off perfectly normal. The trainer discussed lions in the wild and captivity, and despite the mother looking nervous, the segment continued as it was rehearsed. However, due to the toddler's movements, the lion began to take an interest in the tiny human. As the adults continued to talk, the lion clearly becomes more agitated. Slowly but surely, the lion begins to inch his way closer to the unsuspecting toddler. The adults are completely oblivious to the situation, which is odd. It's a predator. Why is no one even monitoring the lion during all of this? As the segment continues, the lion's fascination with the child begins to intensify. His eyes lock onto the little girl, his body becoming very still. What's going to happen? It seems the lion is waiting for just the right moment. There's no way he's going to let this little girl out of his sights. At this moment, the little girl begins to squirm and starts to cry. The lion becomes clearly agitated by the little girl's whines and she begins to shift in her mother's arms. It happens. No one could have seen it coming. The lion grabs the little girl by her pant leg, his claws digging in. Immediately, the mother and trainer begin to pull the child away, but the lion refused to give up its prey. At this point, the mother begins to justifiably freak out. The mother begins to cry, and the trainer attempts to get a better grip on the little girl. As the host of the show watches in complete disbelief, the lion continues to try and drag the little girl closer to him. Unfortunately, the mother can't pull her daughter free, and when the lion bites down on her leg, the trainer finds herself unable to get a good grip on the child. Talk about being completely terrified. The mother begins to scream at the top of her lungs, desperately trying to pull her child back to safety. At this moment, the trainer does something that many would find shocking. The trainer immediately hushes the mother and tells her to calm down. If she continued to scream, the lion could go into full attack, and then they would really be in trouble. The mother attempts to restrain herself, arms wrapped around her child tightly. For a split second, the tension in the air is so thick you could cut it with a knife. The trainer continues to console the mother as she works hard to free the child's leg from the lion's mouth. Thankfully, the second trainer steps in and is able to pry the lion's jaws from the baby's pant leg. With the child free, the lion is pulled from the set immediately, putting a safe distance between the two. The trainer embraces both the child and mother, consoling them after the terrifying incident. Who knew that in a mere 30 seconds how quickly things could go downhill? Thankfully, things didn't end much worse. It seems this mother and child learned a very hard lesson. Sometimes wild animals and television don't mix. Honestly, with the unpredictability of natural born predators, children should just be left out of such situations. And look at the host's face. He can't believe what just transpired. Honestly, neither can we. There have been plenty of incidents where animal and human interaction goes awry. In this instance, a young girl was sitting on the ledge near a seal. Of course, the seal had other plans for her and wanted to play. Thankfully, her father jumped in and retrieved the little girl just in time. 
This man jumped the fence of the tiger pen at the Toronto Zoo when his hat fell into the enclosed area. Let's just say he learned real quick what a bad idea that was. Again, a totally avoidable situation. While driving through a wilderness park in China, a wife decided to exit her vehicle after getting into a fight with her husband. One of the tigers nearby grabbed her and carried her off. The mother exited the vehicle running after her. Sadly, the mother died, but the wife survived. One of the most well-known incidents was when the little boy climbed into the gorilla pen in the Cincinnati Zoo. The gorilla, Harambe, carried the boy around the pen and eventually had to be shot in order to retrieve the child safely. Of course, if the mother had been watching her kid properly, Harambe would be alive today. Animals have instincts. You can't blame them for using them. SeaWorld has seen its fair share of controversy with the treatment of its killer whales. Many incidents have occurred where the whales have lashed out at their trainers. In this incident, veteran trainer Ken was continuously dragged to the bottom of the lagoon. Thankfully, he was able to eventually break free. This mother elephant went on a rampage when locals tried to mess with her baby. Not only did she stop traffic, but she attacked several drivers as well. Honestly, look, but don't touch people. It's important that we remember to respect the animal kingdom and nature. When you try to exploit these creatures or invade their natural habitat, things can go terribly wrong. As the mother and daughter found out the hard way, lions and TV simply do not mix. However, there are plenty of other times where wild animals have nothing to do with crazy scenarios caught on tape. Sometimes people make dumb decisions that end up with them looking like fools on live TV. Here we have a news anchor interviewing locals who are ensuring that running in the snow is a good idea. Here, this young woman explains to the interviewer that it's the perfect texture for running, very low impact, and it's dry snow so your feet don't get wet, and gives the camera a smile. However, soon she regrets these words of wisdom. The interviewer thanks them for their time, apologizing for delaying their nighttime run. She says, keep on going. The two start running when something truly ironic happens as the camera follows them. The anchor starts talking about witnessing a lot of runners and sledders out enjoying the falling snow. Just a lot of people enjoying it. Oops! Before she could finish her sentence, the woman proves that running in the snow probably isn't the best idea. She slips and falls, rather abruptly, on her bum. It's obvious that the fall hurt her back and her ego, too. She hesitates to get up for a minute as the anchor asks if she's okay. With a bruised ego, she gets back up. Signaling that she's okay with a thumbs-up sign, she refuses to look at the camera as she hastily leaves the scene of her embarrassing moment. All the anchor can say is, that can happen. Although it wasn't a surprise by any means, as logic will tell you, running in the snow isn't a good idea. The next embarrassing moment could have left this woman seriously hurt. The TV anchor is so excited to meet Spider-Man as she jumps around eagerly telling audiences it's about to happen. She says, I'm here in Times Square, and I know he's here somewhere. She's about to get the shock of her life. She starts looking around in what is an obvious rehearsed scene. However, what happens next clearly wasn't planned. I cannot wait for the moment that I can say I met Spider-Man. And then he appears. He jumps into the scene, obviously startling her a little bit, although still obvious she knew it was going to happen. However, it seemed as if their plan didn't work out as they thought it would, when she suddenly faints. As he lands, she screams in shock. She then turns around to faint like women do in the movies. But it doesn't go like she thought it would. Apparently, Spider-Man didn't get the memo. Instead of being caught by this superhero, she falls to the ground, smacking her head and body on the ground. Obviously embarrassed, he runs to her and tries to make the scene look a little bit better. Everyone begins laughing, including her. Luckily, she wasn't hurt but it made for a funny TV segment. 